Whack it on, JP, <laughs> you know, <laughs> JP, homie. Put the monster hat on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, you can. Yeah, it's got a buckle. Got to go Whack, it Whack it on. I want to put it on. Whack it on. Whack it on. She's going to be sweaty in there, eh? Was that for that video? Yeah. Yeah. How's it smell? <laughs> it's too big for my head. Too big? No, you got it. You got it. <laughs> Is it a helmet inside? Yeah. So it's safe. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's safe. Oh, safe as houses, mate. Oh, it's got eyes. <laughs> yeah, you need to be able to see, boy. <laughs> the stick, the YT stick. <laughs> can you see out there good? With the hat off, you can see. So we also do uncaged bikes and we do four bikes. An uncaged bike is supposed to be basically like a limited edition bike that is comes out and it's hot product. So it's like what you've got at the moment that is hot. So it's actually a cool bike at the moment. It's clean to be in. But the uncaged bike um, yeah, it will be, I don't know, the new Fox 38 came out. Cool. Here's a bike, a customer can buy with the new Fox 38 immediately the day it comes out. New Olin suspension or the Olin shop comes out. Boom, here's a bike, new Olin shop, Olin comes out. Clean. Ship the bikes uh, with a new suspension, with an update on the suspension before we actually were able to change them on the website. So customers were calling us, like, I think you guys did a mistake. Like, yeah, they are like, you, you sent me a X2 uh, Denver, like, thanks for that, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not what, what what's on the website. We're like, yeah, it's good. Like, we paid, we, we, yeah, we hooks it up, we paid for hooking it, up so the boys. That's, that's <laughs> the way. So Jesse Hall, I don't know, like, Charlotte, you or Jesse at the moment. Are you? So Jesse at the moment, 29, front and rear, uh, 150 mil suspension, again, front and rear. And we do carbon models and aluminium models. To be honest, I don't know what the price is in all the different currencies. Um, but generally speaking, we're talking about something that's around 5,000 GBP or euro mark, down to about the two and a half GBP euro uh, So the ISO, so Sort of obviously the main sort of set here is Tory Gate. Um, so we did a campaign video that included like a sort of cartoon character in Tory Gates where they were um, running through the streets of Japan and they were like fighting bosses and stuff like that. Um, so we, again, to walk into the website, we kind of copied it with manhole covers, with smoke machines and Tory Gates and what have you to show the show the years I want. Um, the core model is 130 mil travel front and rear, 29 only. Every single model is carbon frame um, and aggressive geometry, so 66 degree head angle is 130 bike. Um, we do uh, sort of have a uh, two, so price on the mat is about 2728. Um, again, carbon bike with the NT. This here is the core. Or so the top spec model. We have in the past done on cage bikes on this, so we've done 120 mm uh, uh, travel high end rock shop bike, um, which was kind of like a DC bike race kind of style bike, it's super lightweight, uh, had a quite a layering color with like a hyper uh, uh, yellow color. Um, that was on cage, we made 250 of them. Yeah. Criticizing the bike that it's not too much of a cross country ish bike, but that was not our plan. Like, it still have a, has a pretty gravity orientated focus, right? And that's what we wanted to accomplish, but still have the factor of like good uphill climbing and yeah, the, our version of a short travel trail bike actually. Um, um, it was like a kind of a conversation and yeah, uh, probably a, a nice night at the pub when Marcus and uh, Willie talked about uh, sports and knives and stuff like that and they were like hey what about doing a, a short travel trail bike which is orientated on a katana spot so the first idea was like literally really we put a photo or picture from a katana spot and try to work a design into a bike and then work basically backwards um, to make the bike happen £3,100, saving euros, 3100 
uh, high-end component tree with an aluminium frame, so it's able to give us the price point that we wanted. What are you laughing at? Honest, One more DV. You guys probably know 29 Pan MX. The 29 is a bit more <laughs> focused around enduro, and the MX is more focused around uh, sort of like a part bike. So you've got the young ripples that want to go down mm -hmm. to the bike park, and then generally speaking, I'm leaning towards uh, the MX bike. Whereas the 29 is a bit more of the race focused bike. Obviously, you do get that kind of natural crossover into a bit of both. Um, yeah, generally speaking, um, yeah, camera aluminium has been, been really well received. A couple of different bikes, 27.5 bike is here because this is like sort of more leaning towards the Rampage star bike. Uh, and we have the 29, which is more of a race bike. Uh, the Core 4 um, has come out in September, October, um, which is the sort of uh, new green one that you guys have seen on the, on the website. You guys, I know you've got one yourself. You've got one already. Um, Do you buy like green? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, and then obviously you can buy that they use a red paint racing and what have you. Um, I don't want to go into a bit more detail. But you can think it's a little bit more than being able to us. See, buy green. It's not green. We got some discrepancies yeah, with the like color here. <laughs> <laughs> That's obviously the platform which is. Uh, it's not green. He's not green. Probably the like. <laughs> Version. So obviously it's clear that we're currently working in, in detail on yeah platform. But I oh. can say it's oh. new. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> it has a crazy history, right? It proved to win Rampage on the same model basically won World Champs, so or World Cups. Um, so obviously it's like exactly the same frame. Um, but just used in different uh, disciplines, which is quite crazy, I think, these days to have like uh, one bike which is suiting for both of like, yeah, heavy riding and big jumps um, and yeah, gnarly courses. Um, suspension for rock shot suspension for um, at the moment there's two models, so we've got the three or four. Um, the main difference frame wise is. Same colors, obviously slightly different. Uh, the component tree is different. Always at the moment in uh, axis axis group set. Yeah, and, and 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 to be honest, it's been really really well received. Have you guys? I don't know if you've already. Are you guys already? Any of you on one? Gravel guy. I got one. <laughs> How is it, gravel guy? Give us a rundown. <laughs> so far, my bars are like still upright. <laughs> Oh, no, uh, he needs some not quite right travel yet. setup. Yeah. It's not been on it yet. <laughs> nah. Obviously, you try to do a travel bike, but it feels like a hardtail on the trails. So, um, that also fits into the DNA of being a gravity brand. And um, it's fair to say, like, uh, there's a lot of discussion going on with the suspension, obviously. Um, because I think it's rare to see that on travel bikes, but it 100% it makes sense from our philosophy of what travel riding means for us. Because it's uh, clear that we we want to communicate, uh, commute to the um, yeah to the trails, but then we want to have fun on it. And obviously, for the kind of riding as we all do, I think it works way better with the suspension of front. And I guess that's the other thing, like what's unique about it as well, is it's a uh, sort of mountain bike gravity brand version of a gravel bike as opposed to uh, sort of like coming from a road background and then trying to build something that goes off road. We can kind of come at it from a different different angle, if that makes sense. Starting from mountain bikes and then moving into gravel. Uh, generally speaking, obviously clothing section, so uh, we've got the new performance wear uh, sort of along the left, which is like more tech tees and racing jerseys. That, and then just normal kind of like tees and stuff. All the fabric comes from Turkey, so um, yeah, really high quality product. But yeah, don't know what else to tell you about t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so decoy um, obviously is our, our e-bike. Essentially, we do two different decoys. We do a 29 up, which is behind you, with front and rear 29, and we do the oh, yeah, MX. The MX bike, so the mullet bike, is more of a leaning obviously towards gravity inspired. So we're seeing a lot of guys that are like bike park guys that are buying them. Um, 
pretty big um, increase uh, on this bike was particularly when sort of COVID happened. Obviously, every bike sort of really increased, but we saw a lot of downhill guys coming across and buying e bikes because the shuttles were closed, so they couldn't get the lifts and they couldn't get everything else. So they were all leaning into buying more heavy duty uh, e bikes just so they can sort of get the adrenaline fix. Um, what's really really sound about this bike is it does really, to be honest with you, ride like a like a sort of you can tell it's come from like a VH kind of like feeling background and the gravity inspired. The main kind of uh, I guess thing that was asked before we had the decoy was like make me a Capra with a motor in it. That was kind of like the brief if you like. Uh, make the Capra with a motor in it and that's kind of where we came to with this. Um, it has got a shorter back end, um, which is which is quite nice on the e bike being a little bit heavier, so you can sort of pick it up and throw it around. I guess again, you've kind of already like most of you probably be ridden this quite a lot. Uh, it does feel the same as the Capra. Like yeah. I don't know the difference regarding the two. Yeah, exactly. And that was like the whole like, That's mad. thing about it. Hell mad. Bit, like bar height and stuff like that, you can set them up to be like fairly similar to each other as well. Again, just with the um, kind of feature piece of the, of, of the display, um, as some of you guys may have watched the Vinnie Jones video where he was like out shooting like deep boys, like shooting ducks and stuff like that. So that was like the, the, the display was designed to be sort of from that. Uh, a fun fact is actually the guys who built it were the same guys uh, building the sceneries in Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's like, uh, yeah. That was the same for Maniacs. this one. The Izzo and the Capra as well, the guys who came from like the Harry Potter stage fixing and guys basically. Now we've got the bigger battery as well, which came out on end of November, beginning of December. Um, and to be honest, customers have been yeah, kind of crying out for that for a little while. So, um, what size is it? Market 720? Oh, yeah. yeah, the previous one was 540. Yeah. Um, <laughs> pretty up and brave. Yeah, it's it's pretty sick, sick man. <laughs> Froffin. Half ah, right, this is our boy. These bikes are out just to get Jeff a size, I think. So we'll get oh, a Capra and then we'll do your size among this. This is just one size. So. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Capra. Here we've got the Core 4, which is the MX bike that you can sort of see behind in the lot blue. Then we've got the uh, Machine Grey, which is the flight attendant on page 6 bike. Uh, and the 29. Obviously you've all ridden the camera, so I won't go into have some details about it. But again, you were asking earlier about specs and stuff like that. So it uses the, the MP6, uses the crank rubber, synthesis, hydro wheels. Top, 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 top spec bike. Like, there's not much condition. I don't know what you would change on it if you wanted more spec kind of thing. Um, again, the set was made by the same guys that made the previous set. Oh, um, the van was the van that they used in the in the video shoot, so the original. Gary. Uh, <laughs> shoot, um, which we got from the Scandinavia. Where did we get it? We got the Scandinavia JP, something like that? that. The van we got the Scandinavia, something like that. But uh, the FBI guys were actually proper Navy SEALs. Like they were huh. walking around on the set just with a mask, trying to hide their identity. And they were like from Slovenia and where we filmed the campaign. And they got hired like just to, to be in that uh, movie, but they were proper, yeah, Navy SEALs basically. <laughs> oh, staff only. Where the secrets are, man. Beer fridges, we've actually got beer taps now, but if you want beer, there's beer fridges as well. Damn. It's a bit nippy out here, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Only the tea. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Right How's it going? Uh, we got George. Yeah, yeah George. Um, so basically, the guys here are looking after for the, for the UK. They're looking after everything, like from servicing, demo bikes, warranty. Mm -hmm. They'll be out there. General warehouse, but I guess the only thing really to show you in here is along this side here. This is all the demo flip to run in the mill. So all of these bikes on this side of demo flip, there is a few kind of like parts coming in. Someone's like, hey man, I want to buy, I don't know, a 
Okay, I want to get it to go faster. Don't say anything to that. Yeah, why not? Well, how to get it to go faster? Are you, are you allowed an American set? So you're no, American we're 25, I think. Yeah. Are you? It's pretty okay. silly. You're, I think I still have a good account from Bull's Place. <laughs> this guy's got a hack for sure. Look at that face, eh? <laughs> Look at that sketchy mug on him. Yeah, I think this this guy's 80. 40, 40 <laughs> oh, those yellow ones are sick, eh? Yeah. Yeah, the yellow one's mega, innit? Yeah, that's a hectic colour. The yellow and the red don't. Yeah, on the website they don't look the same, but they're actually So we're trying to get them now out with. Like, yeah, the sparkle, eh? Yeah. And that, like, you see what I mean about that like, with this? One, it's got that like similar kind of paint, so it really yeah. like pops in real life, but on the website, it doesn't quite show yeah. as well. Yeah. So that's also why we're trying to get it out with, like, like to be honest, like you guys to, to show off them colorways because, yeah, they look fucking thick in the flesh. You just it's just hard to get them on a, on a photo to sparkle like they do in real life, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's the service guys down here. Uh, a little bit bigger, get the dab away, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and customer service has really been our focus for the last, well, three years. Yeah, sort of since I started and then Dan then joined. So the last three years, customer service has been like a massive focus to like, how do we improve the customer service? How do we make things better for customer service? I mentioned before the like turnarounds for the British customers previously. It, it wasn't that people weren't doing a good job. It's just physically Germany was far, far, far away. So it was taking more time to get the bikes backwards and forwards. Everybody in this building has like got a very big bike background, all ride. Um, majority of people are racing. Um, golf frames, wind golf frames. Um, just like customs and stuff like that. Damn. Uh, oh, it's Rick. <laughs> yeah, Rick. Um. Were they the, what year were they? Uh, so 18. Is that 18? Yeah, 18. Cause... Sweet, yeah. And that's basically YT UK. That's a wrap. Cheers for the tour, brother. Hey, you're going to have to get the Grom one of those, bro. How long till the Grom gets one of these bad boys? Uh, I reckon like maybe five years. How old is he? He's turning six this year. Yeah, right. We'll probably have a second hand one by then. Get... What's this one called? Oh Dirt Love. Yeah, What do we got, Santa? <laughs> Here we got. <laughs> so we just have a little goodie bag for you with some, some mm. first jerseys and some stuff you could probably need in cold conditions here in the UK. Oh, fuck. And a bag of rollo, so Casper. Yes. Check it for sizing. If not, we're going to swap it. So, Jack. Oh, cheers, mate. What are you doing? I gotta see what size I have. A shopping way. What's on the menu, Taxi? What are we chasing, brother? Bro, I'm chasing socks, mate. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. We've got some in our pack, but you can never have too many fresh socks, eh? What are we working with here? I don't know, mate. Hmm. I'm interesting. I'm trying to get JP to uh, get a proper dad head, you know, as I'm a dad. Yeah, true. Bro, are you ready, ready for winter surf or what? Ready to rip, bro. <laughs> How many X's do you need to your XL? <laughs> bro, I'm gonna Additional need like... five? I reckon I'm gonna need like five X's on top of this. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's about to shank someone, eh? <laughs> I have to go for the XL. <laughs> Been shopping. Oh, mad hoodie. What else are we gonna need? Got another mad hoodie. Sweater. What else we got in here? What else we got? What's more? Alright. Sick this one. We got on the 2XL big boys. Yeah, boy. Hey! Okay, okay. Up the ramp. Yeah, right. Damn, son. Not bad, not bad. You like that shit? I love that shit. Subscribe to that shit. Yeah. <laughs>